Robertson Hall Insurance and your Insurance Renewal Review. This will be a tour of your renewal package for your Church and Charity Protection Plus policy. Let's step inside and find out more. Insurance paperwork and documentation uh, is not one of your favorite things to do and it can be overwhelming at times. And so the purpose of this uh, video clip is to help you uh, to be able to navigate your insurance renewal package and to make it more understandable and help you prioritize it for your leaders. If you take your renewal package envelope and open up inside, you will notice that there is an insurance uh, renewal cover letter which will explain much of the documentation that's inside your policy. Uh, one of the first things that you should take a look at in your renewal letter is the name of the contact person that's on the letter. Uh, we understand that at your organization the key contact person may change from year to year and it's important that we keep updated on uh, the proper person to send this to. If there has been a change in your contact person, if you could let us know, we'd really appreciate it because that will get the documentation to you in a more timely fashion. And as well to help you, uh, inside of your renewal package may be a renewal update and contact form. And uh, on the form, you can fill in the name of the person or the people that are authorized to speak to our office and our brokers uh, with respect to confidential or private information in your insurance file, including such things as coverage information, um, accounts information, and claims. Also on the form it are some questions just to update us on your operations and building, just to make sure that we're keeping abreast of all the changes at your organization so that we can make coverage recommendations for you and avoid any gaps in your coverage. In your renewal letter, right at the top on the first page, will show the current policy period that's upcoming and also your insurance renewal premium, including a breakdown of premium by coverage category and also by location if you have multiple building locations. This is sometimes helpful for your accounting purposes when you're posting uh, premiums against particular ministries and properties internally. One of the important issues facing uh, homeowners, business owners, churches and not-for-profit organizations these days is uh, water damage and uh, water claims at your buildings. Uh, I can tell you from our own experience and our clientele with 7,000 churches and charities across Canada that water damage claims have replaced fire as the number one uh, property claim by far. Almost 70% of all of our claims are now related to water damage, whether it be overland flood, uh, sewer backup, uh, burst pipes, uh, ice damming, and severe storms. And We've enclosed in your package uh, a brochure. It's entitled Water, Water Everywhere, Straight Facts About Insurance, and it includes tips for uh, prevention around your building facilities to avoid or reduce the possibility of water damage claims in order to avoid a full basement of water and a claim on your record that is entirely preventable. You may also have in your package something called a Water Loss Prevention Questionnaire. This would be in your package if you've suffered a water damage claim in the last 10 years and it is just asking uh, you some brief questions to update us on what measures have been taken to uh, address or prevent future water damage claims. Uh, for more detailed information, check out our water loss prevention video clip. In your renewal package and attached to your policy renewal document is a form called a summary of coverage. Think of it as a Coles Notes version of your policy. And keep in mind that insurance policies are customarily anywhere from 40 to 60 pages long. You don't receive a full policy wording on each renewal. However, you do receive policy declaration pages, which give a brief summary of your coverage limits and the important features in your policy. However, this form gives a longer checklist of all the coverage features that are included in your policy. On the first page of the form, it describes the property coverage features included. Uh, with respect to your building, your contents, and your equipment. It also talks about the coverage that you have for crime. It includes the theft of money, offerings, and donations, as well as employee 
and volunteer dishonesty. Finally, it talks about loss of income coverage. This is to reimburse you for a downfall or decline of revenue in the event of an insurable claim in case you're not able to fully function or to function at all as an organization. One of the unique features included in our Protection Plus policy is in the right hand column of the page and I just wanted to focus on this and highlight this for you. It's a separate flexible additional coverage limit of $1 million in cases where you own buildings, or if your organization just rents, this limit is $500,000. And it contains coverage beyond the repair or replacement of bricks and mortar, or the replacement of lost or damaged contents. Uh, included in this, a uh, couple of points to note, in particular the more important features, would be uh, it defrays the cost of additional expenses if you need to pay rent uh, to operate at alternate locations, it also includes coverage for the additional cost that's triggered by the enforcement of local building bylaws when you repair or rebuild your building. These resources include the Advantage newsletter series on a variety of important subjects for your organization, including managing transportation risk, keeping your people safe on short-term mission trips, and also how to navigate the world of social media safely and without uh, inviting lawsuits against your leaders. We also have an article called Liability Insurance 101, which is a great primer for uh, directors, officers, trustees, administrators, and senior pastors to become one-minute experts on the subject of liability protection and to be able to understand your policy and your protection better and to ask better questions. For more information on these resources, go to our Church Protection Plus Risk Management resource video. It's on our website. On the subject of civil liability damage and insurance protection, one of the uh, very important features in your Protection Plus policy is the fact that Robertson Hall includes coverage for all insurable civil damages in a lawsuit. This is very important because the majority of insurance companies across Canada cover compensatory damage, damages only in a lawsuit which can be very problematic because if the lawsuit contains an element of, of damages for punitive, for exemplary, or multiplied awards, you can find yourself completely without coverage and defense for that portion of the lawsuit. The importance of this broader liability protection and exclusive protection with Robertson Hall Insurance is explained in greater detail in a video clip called Civil Liability Damages and Insurance Protection on our website. The difference is in the details, it's one of the many reasons why your policy is not just another insurance policy, it's Protection Plus. The second page of your renewal package also includes a section called Coverage Options. It's a series of check boxes with coverage categories. If you have checks, check marks in the boxes, it means that you do have the coverage and or you've qualified for it. If the box is unchecked, means you do not currently have this coverage. If you do have unchecked boxes, we highly recommend that your leaders review these coverage items to see if they would be valuable to you and applicable to your organization. We do recommend them, and if you need more information about the coverage items, enclosed is a coverage options newsletter, which explains each of those options in detail, or please feel free to contact our office and speak to one of our professional and friendly customer service brokers in our church and charity department. In the third page of your renewal letter, there's a section called Building Valuation. It describes the automatic upgrading coverage that's included on your building and contents. Each year, we apply a cost index increase in accordance with the Consumer Price Index non-residential construction factor, uh, which in most recent years has been running at about 2 to 3%. If your renewal is indicating that your policy is subject to a coinsurance penalty and there is no agreed value coverage, there will be a statement of values form included in your renewal package. The purpose of this form is to provide us with enough information and valuation to be able to review and to approve in order to remove the coinsurance clause and to add agreed value coverage. In order to assist you in doing this, if you do not have a basis for valuation, we have a couple of options uh, which are explained in your renewal letter. We do have available a no-cost building evaluation service 
All that's required is to complete the Statement of Values form and the Building Update form on the back and return it to our office, making sure to check off the We Want No Cost Building Valuation checkbox on the first page. Within a month to 45 days, you'll receive back a written valuation with our recommendation as to the adequacy of your current coverage. Another valuation option is described in your letter and it is a formal replacement value provided on a remote basis by Veracost and uh, it is a very economical way to obtain a formal appraisal opinion and in order to do so you can contact Veracost directly. There's a brochure enclosed with your renewal and I should point out as well that there is a discount code available for clients of Robertson Hall Insurance. Your renewal package also includes a paragraph on the status of your abuse liability coverage. If your organization has already qualified for full abuse liability coverage with no exclusion, congratulations. It means you have the broadest available coverage in Canada, including $5 million coverage limits for vicarious liability that your organization has for abuse committed by representatives of your organization. It includes punitive and exemplary damages in a lawsuit. It includes the reimbursement of criminal defense costs in cases where your employees or volunteers are wrongfully accused. It includes no-fault uh, uh, therapy for victims. And it also includes legal defense costs in excess of your policy limits. If your organization has not yet qualified for this coverage, in other words, if the box in your letter is unchecked, and if your organization operates any children's, youth uh, programming or programming for vul uh, vulnerable adults, we encourage you to review this matter and make it a priority of your organization. We've enclosed an abuse prevention newsletter and also we've enclosed the declaration form that's required to be completed and returned to us in order to qualify for this coverage. Keep in mind, there is no cost to the coverage and we do have plenty of resources at our office and on our website to assist you in doing this including a full-time staff member uh, whose role is to assist organizations in becoming eligible and maintaining abuse prevention plans. If your organization has not already taken advantage of it, we do have optional payment plans including through post-dated checks and also uh, direct withdrawals from your account. If you would like more information about these optional payment plans, please contact one of our customer service brokers and they'd be pleased to help you. If you have any um, mortgages, loans or leases on buildings or contents, uh, it will refer to additional mortgagee copies that are enclosed with your renewal package. And so we would just ask if you would review it to make sure that it's up to date. If everything looks accurate, please feel free to send it along to your mortgagee or your leasing company. If those mortgages or leases are no longer applicable, uh, we would just ask that you send the copy back with a letter notifying us of that. And if there's a discharge document, uh, please send that and we'll make sure to remove it from your policy. Thank you for taking the time to review the important material in your renewal package to help you navigate your insurance policy and your protection. We realize that many of you volunteer your valuable time and we hope that this has been an effective use of that time while providing you with some assistance in your renewal review as leaders of your organization. If you have any further questions, please call our office, visit our website, or check out our other video clips on a variety of risk management topics which may be of interest to you in keeping your employees, volunteers, members, and participants safe. Thank you.